Hello friends! Welcome to my release and review of Studio Kadia's September 2021 release. For those not familiar, Studio Kadia is actually based in Canada and a bunch of retailers carry her stuff including Simon Says Stamp. Kadia is wonderful. Love her products. Um, I wanted, even though it's the middle of, <laughs> not even the middle yet, of stamp timber and all my craziness, I wanted to feature this. Um, last year was unbelievably rough on everyone. Still things going on, but Studio Kadia had a ton of issues with, like, hundreds of packages went missing in the post and things going wrong and all this stuff, and I genuinely was concerned that, um she might end up going like out of business because like it was just rough and I felt so bad for her. So she powered through, she's back, new products. I'm so happy. <laughs> I was, I was, I was genuinely like, I was concerned for her and her little business and just everything because yeah, when you do this kind of stuff as a business, it's, it can be stressful and difficult. You know what I mean? Like it's just, it's a lot. And then when things out of your control keep happening, you know, and going wrong, oi. So, highly recommend Studio Kadia. And my dog is freaking out again because every time he so much as sees another dog walk by outside, he loses his mind. But I need to get this filmed. <laughs> so, I'm just gonna put that back on there so I don't lose them. Alrighty, so we've got wafer dies, stamps, a mess. <laughs> so many good things. So first off, let's just do the slimline wafer dies. So there's three new slimline wafer dies. We have the slimline stitch cover, full slimline size, die cuts a panel, there's a little emboss line, and then all the little stitching holes. So you can stitch different scenes, things like that. They're just basic patterns. Yeah. And then we have the dotted slimline set three. This one die cuts a scallop border with a piercing detail. And then you can choose to like keep it as is and it'll cut these big polka dots or you can snip this out and use just the outline. So it'll create just a cute little panel. So either or, I like options like that. There's that one. And then this one, is the slimline polka dots cover. It's your basic slimline, and then it'll cut little polka dots. Works great for like any background. You can never go wrong with polka dots. I love it, love it. So we got those three. Oh my goodness, 15th interruption later. I'm not even kidding. Anyway, <laughs> we have these little shaker die sets. Studio Cotty has several like this, so let's, I die cut the pieces to kind of show. So this is the little envelope shaker. So it's just two little wafer dies. But the cool thing with this one is it die cuts, there's a window with piercing detail. And then there's a little frame that you can choose to use, you know, in this or not. And then you have your little envelope. So you can use with the frame or you could have it without and just kind of have it floating like that. And then of course your interior pieces so you could do without a shaker, you could just do an inlay, you know, and just create your envelope that way, just like so. So again, just options, you know, however you wanna do it. You could use this frame for a little embellishment or a sentiment, etc. There's a little heart, so you can add that. Again, just, just options. So that's the little envelope shaker. You know, I could see doing this in the little sentiment, like sending love. How cute, how cute. So that's the little envelope shaker wafer die set. And then the other one is this creative die, the cupcake shaker and same idea. The main outer portion just cuts a window in a cupcake shake with the piercing detail. So we got that. And then again, there is a frame that is just like so. So you could use with or without. And then there's the cupcake itself. So you go like that and you've got a little cupcake shaker and you can back it with acetate, you know, whatever. Or you can use all these pieces. There's a little pierce detail 
for your base. There's all the inlay pieces too. So you could just do your own cupcake with all the inlay pieces and that could just be like a focus. And then there's little wafer dies for like little sprinkles. You can die cut different colors, cardstock, a little heart, a little star, so you can zhuzh it up a bit. It's just really cute. Really cute. So those are the two little shaker die sets that were just released. I'm gonna keep keep all these pieces together. Just like so. And then we have stencil. Chunky sprinkles stencil. Perfect for backgrounds, birthdays, cakes. Just cute, love it. You know, do different colors of embossing paste or some glitter, glitter, hello. Or different colors of like inks and then just do glitter paste over it so you'd have like glittery little sprinkles. Yeah, <laughs> let's grab that one. And then there's this cute, really cute. This is butterfly, this is just the butterflies stamp set. So you've got just these little butterflies and then some little sentiments like happy for you, thinking of you, thank you, you know. Just a really cute little set. There is a coordinating wafer die set that'll die cut out all these little butterflies. So we got that one. This one is like my favorite and it was on the top of the package and I was like, oh yes, love this. This is the cone bouquet stamp. How gorgeous is this? So you've got the actual little waffle cone, but then it's like filled with this gorgeous bouquet of flowers. Wishing you a beautiful day. Happy birthday. Thinking of you. Thanks. Love. Love. And then there is a coordinating wafer die to die cut this. I love it. Love it. As well as this one. I think this is gorgeous. Like this cake is fabulous. This is the floral cake. So again, gorgeous cake. All these flowers, a whole bunch of sentiments like happy anniversary, happily ever after, just hello, wishing you a very happy birthday, happy anniversary, happily ever after. Let's celebrate congratu congratulations, you know, like options. And then there is a coordinating wafer die for the cake. Love. So we got that. And then there's embellishments. <laughs> So many fabulous embellishments. Some are brand new, a couple she sent extras of because I go through a ton of embellishments, as always. So of embellishments, there's a new um, replacement tip. I've shown this in tons of videos. This is the Studio Katia embellishment wand. Tons of my videos, it sells out all the time because it's just a popular, I love it. I have multiples of these, love them. So I actually just got an email just the other day and someone asking like, like did the different colors, because there's a bunch, there's like 12 colors of replacement tips. And I have another one with just a pink one on it. And I had someone asking, they're like, D you know, is there a special like purpose to them? Like, does it mean anything? No, they're all the same. It's just the color that's different. So all of the Studio Cotty, like the embellishment wand just comes with a black um, tip and then you can re order replacement tips in all the different like there's a ton of different colors I'll link to them but all you do it just unscrews and then you screw the new one on and it's good to go so mine is a little bit worse for wear my original one you just see it <laughs> still works great though so I'm still I'm gonna use the purple one because I was like ooh purple <laughs> But yeah, they are wax, so if mine do get, because they do every once in a while, because, you know, I'll drop them different things, but if the end gets really um, banged up, flat, and things like that, like, because they're wax, I, you can just warm it up a little bit with your fingers, and I'll just, like, give it a roll, and just kind of reshape it that way. That also works, like, when they start getting a little bit dusty, you know, dust and lint will attract, because, it's, again, it's wax. Um... Because it's a wax tip, I find I don't really need to clean it. I just, same thing. I just kind of warm it up with my fingers, mush it around a bit, reshape it a little bit, and it's good to go. Like, I don't, and I do this once in a blue moon. I don't have to, this isn't something I have to do, like, every time, fiddle with it. No. It's good to go. So, I do recommend keeping them stored. Um, probably away from direct sunlight, I would assume, if these are, because, again, they're wax. If they're sitting in, like, a direct sunlight, they'd probably start to, like, melt or misshape. I've never had a problem, but then I don't have mine. So I'm like, I have a window right here, but it's north facing. So I don't have sun like streaming right in on them. But yeah, if you do manage to wreck it or whatever, 
You can get a little replacement. They're cheap. And they're all like, again, tons of different colors. So, embellishments. There's black trays now. Love. I've shown, I've had these forever. These Studio Cadia, just little trays. I have a bunch of them in, I use them in my embossing powder containers to like scoop embossing powder, which is just, love it. And then yeah, to pour my embellishments in when I'm wanting to pick through, I use, I have a stack of these trays. So there's black ones as well now. These are like so shiny and new. Mine are getting like all dull. <laughs> but yeah, got new trays and then embellishments. I love, I love her new packaging. I don't know. I'm just, I'm so glad she's back doing products. She makes some adorable products. I love her embellishments. But yeah, there, here's like the original packaging and then this is the new packaging. I love it. I love it. So we've got like little clay embellishments. We have these cute little envelopes, which go with that envelope shaker. So there's envelopes and little stars and then like little um, confetti love. This gorgeous pack of blue. This is blue azurite pearls. Love that color, like blue, blue. This one as well. This is the dark chocolate. I was like, oh yes, coffee themed cards. Hello. Love dark chocolate. There's these cute little um, rainbow. These are snowflakes, rainbow snowflakes, rainbow stars. Love. Um, my go-to favorite. She probably saw my video. These are the silver sparkle crystals. I have raved about these in a million videos. I have the gold sparkle crystals and I think that there's an iridescent one as well that's just... Uh, so these crystals have like sparkle like in them. Love it. Love it. So we got those. Um, mango punch pearls and the lime. I forget the name of these but yeah. Perfect for Halloween. So thank you, Katya. <laughs> Same with the spooky satin confetti. I think I used up the, like a ton of mine. And then this one, I was like, oh, this is black magic confetti. I'm gonna have to get more of these. Look at that. Oh, I like it. It's like oil slick, the way it reflects the color. Oh, I like these a lot. I'm gonna have to get more of these. That's just gorgeous. Black Magic Confetti. I'll have to make a note of that. Literally, I'm gonna have to like get more. Um, glow in the Dark Mini Stars. You can, I, I don't think I'll be able to really show it in the video, but they do, yeah. I don't think my camera picked it up, but yeah, they glow in the dark. That makes me happy. Glow in the Dark Mini Stars, yes. Love. And then last but certainly not least, I hope Katia, if you're watching this, if you can get these in like every color under the sun, I, oh, yes. These are, they're sparkling round gems. Let me see if I can like properly show these. So we have sparkling round, and then these ones are the round iridescent gems. And I have been wanting, and I want them in all sorts of sizes, and if they come be like, all the colors, all the sizes, all of it, all of it, please and thank you, I want, because these are just my jam. Okay, so these are the iridescent ones, and they come in other sizes, obviously, and then they're really pretty clear ones. So they're multifaceted, so they're not like the regular crystals that we get. So those are the iridescent and then the, the clear ones are just like crystal clear, which is fabulous. But they have all those different facets on them. So they just, the way they reflect light. Oh, yes, love, want more, more colors. <laughs> I'm, I'm like legit excited about these, seriously. Especially these iridescent ones, but the clear ones, cause they'll work with anything. I love it. I love it. Oh, they're so pretty. So, there's my random rambling. I gotta splice this all together, because seriously, like, the dog was losing his mind, the phone was going off, like, just the door, everything. So many interruptions trying to film this. But anywho, as always, I will link to everything in the description box below the video. I'll also link to my blog post. You can go over there. It'll be picture links to find all the things. And yeah, stay tuned. I've got so much more videos coming. I have another one coming tonight if I get this uploaded right away. <laughs> another one coming tonight, you know, daily videos, at least daily. 
it's stamp timber so much excitement so thank you all so much for watching subscribing thumbs upping commenting follow my social medias if you don't already I try to keep that all updated as often as possible too and yeah i'll see you guys very soon in the next video